Hi, this is Heidi Caswell here. WordPress 101 for Boomers. And we've been talking about things that you can do to limit access to your site by various bots, ones that you may want or ones that you don't want, and things that you can do to uh, work with this. Um, right now, today, we're talking about the HD access file. And this is truly one of the best ways to, to, if you have people you absolutely don't want, uh, accessing your site at all. This is the best way to block them. We're going to go ahead and show you what an HD access file looks like. Now, HD access file may look different for different sites depending on what you put in there. If you have a WordPress site, this right here, begin WordPress, the rewrite engine on, the rewrite rules, conditions, all this in the end WordPress, this will be included in your HD access file. WordPress has these. You can see them right here. Now the thing about HT access file is a lot of your files will have something like a .php or dot .wordpress, a lot of them .php. Uh, a lot of your images, you might have a JPEG or a PNG. Uh, you can have HTML. All these things are certain files that are given a dot in the name. For the HT access, it's just the dot HT access. That's the whole thing. And you only have one of these in the root of your folder. You may have ones in other places. Uh, if you put one here in the root of your folder, which you need to have of your domain for your WordPress sites, this is what you will have in them. Now there's some other things that you can do. And what we did with this is this section right up here that I'm highlighting right now, this section uh, we use because uh, my, my uh, sites are still using too much um, of the resources on the shared server. And a lot of this is becoming from the search various spiders and bots and things and things that weren't needed. Now this one right here, this is the what I put on here in the HT access file. I added that. And this is what my uh, hosting suggested. I use local host here. And it may work fine on yours and if not you may want to use something else. But you may want to double check. If you're not sure with your web host as to what would work well there. These are various uh, search engines that were found in my traffic files that were taking quite a bit of space. And it helps if you go in and you look and see what they are before you ban them from your site. Because if you want them in there, then you don't want to ban them. And this one here is talking about the Spider Spider. And it is a legitimate Chinese search engine bot. Now, if you have content you wanted to be seen in China, and you want a lot of China traffic, don't block it and keep it there. Now, if your site is an English one and your market is English-speaking people, now there's still some that speak English in China. So you may want it there, maybe not. But for my site here and for the resources and things that I have, I'm not really interested in, and if they're using more bandwidth to index it than what I'm actually getting from traffic anyway. So um, I went ahead and blocked that one. There are other spiders that you have that are not necessarily, um, they may just be ones that are just junk spiders or doing different things. But I do suggest each one as you go through them that you go in and you look and you search and see, is this a good one to be doing? This one's a content scraper. Uh, it's uh, from Ukraine. I just soon not have that one in here. You can go in, you can look, you can read more on it. Now you could find hundreds and hundreds of bots you could block and put in here. I wouldn't do that though, because if you put hundreds and hundreds here, each page, each time a file is opened up, then the server has to go in, or you one of these, or you one of these, or you one of these. And if it does it several hundred times, that's going to use resources too. So use just the ones that you're having issues with. Now that said, my site was still having issues because there's still some robots coming in. And most of the ones that were coming in, thousands of them, were from this IP address right here, which went was traced back to uh, Korea. This spot here was just going to my HP WP login. They were attempting to find out how to crack into the login in my site and going over and over again. And so this section right here is blocking them out. Once we did that, there was no problems. So this, what you do exactly with this depends on you. But if you're having issues, this is one way to keep people out. Um, have fun with this. Heidi Caswell, WordPress 101 for Boomers.